hi welcome now i am going to show you how to optimize when you create a pivot table how to optimize the size of the excel file or how to remove the duplication of uh, source data or the underlying data and uh, keep the other calculation and operations faster okay so what i am going to do it here is that uh, i am going to create a uh, pivot table and show you uh, what all the ways you can optimize to keep the file smaller okay why do we want to do this okay now you have a pivot table created okay then uh, once you create the pivot table it also attach the underlying data with the pivot table which is nothing but the exact copy of the source data okay it's a cache okay when you attach uh, when uh, excel creates a pivot table and, uh, and this pivot table is also having a copy of uh, the source data the file size be becomes bigger okay so when when if it is only one pivot table is fine if you have uh, different uh, worksheets of uh, source data and uh, different uh, pivot tables then what happens is that uh, uh, it's a lot of uh, uh, repeated data okay so the source data is also there and the cache of pivot table is also there now you have a point to decide whether you want to keep the source data or the cache data okay that is possible in this way what you can do you can reduce the size of the uh, excel file and uh, make once you reduce the size obviously the cache memory is reduced and also the the speed of the uh, calculations in the excel file is faster and the loading is also faster okay so it is two ways you can do that i will show to you first i will create a pivot table and uh, this is my data which is the product list uh, of uh, 277 uh, records their, uh, their uh, respective customer category country and the uh, respective sales in january to april okay i am creating a uh, pivot table okay so this is my range source data and i want to create it in a new worksheet okay while you press ok then it shows a pivot table report uh, part and also the pivot tables field selection okay in the fields uh, pivot table fields pan you can select the uh, select the fields and uh, it is shown in the pivot table okay whatever action you do here you can it can show it in the pivot table so what um, in the first example what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this source data okay so removing the source data you can make the pivot table to access its own uh, underlying data no more source data in a way that uh, you keep only a copy of uh, source data within a pivot table the restriction here is that uh, you want to refresh the data you cannot refresh the data that means that at the time when you do the uh, uh, pivot table at the time when you create the pivot table that is your data okay and uh, that data cannot be updated anymore if you are fine with that then use this method just uh, removing the source data okay so what i will do is uh, you have here the uh, products and the sales okay sum of january sales okay so you can see here i created the pivot table and i copy it uh, I saved it now what I am going to do is I just uh, delete the source data okay Microsoft Excel will permanently delete this sheet do you want to continue yes okay uh, before deleting the source data if you want your source data is very valuable you can copy it take a copy and keep it in a different worksheet for your further reference 
okay for uh, once you delete you cannot return the data back okay so once you deleted delete it you have uh, save now this is self one okay i'll open it again open the word self one you can see only the only the pivot table is there no more source data but uh, you want to add the customer okay you can see the customer is there you can select any customer press ok now you can see the customers okay so that means uh, even though the source da source data is deleted um, the pivot table is operating because it's keeping the copy of uh, the source data as uh, underlying data for this uh, uh, pivot table if you are not deleting the uh, source data then what will happen this worksheet this workbook uh, excel file is keeping duplication of data you already have a source data as well as you are keeping the pivot table underlying data okay so this way you can uh, removing a part of uh, excel file uh, uh, data and uh, this time it is it will the obviously the file size is smaller and the loading is faster okay you may not uh, experience the op uh, the the optimization of this technique while you have only one pivot table but if you have uh, multiple of worksheets and uh, multiple of pivot tables then you will know that uh, this is working fine because a lot of time people uh, complaining about the loading of the file okay many times it takes a long time to load and uh, the status bar comes here to loading and loading okay or every calculation it is uh, it is updating the worksheet uh, it will take long time okay this is one of the method uh, deleting the source data okay but be careful that you take a copy of source data in some other worksheet workbook and uh, delete it in this uh, uh, this workbook okay the pivot table workbook but the restriction you cannot update the data okay now this is one method what is the next one okay next one is something like the same thing but uh, now this time we are keeping the source data but uh, deleting the cache the underlying data of pivot tables okay that is also possible okay so what i am going to do is i am going to select okay now i am going to insert the pivot table the same selection of data new worksheet okay then uh, okay product same thing i'm doing here sales okay so what i'm going to do here is that uh, i have the source data and the pivot table so i just uh, make the pivot table whatever i want i will do the analysis okay then what i'm going to do is i just delete the cache okay so i just uh, go to the pivot table option right click pivot table options in the options you have a data in the data you have save source data with file i don't want to save it with the file i just close it okay so in this case what happens is that uh, the 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 data is no more with the pivot table okay currently it is with the memory so it will operate okay so i see category it is operating but when happens that uh, you save it and close the file so it is no more attached with the file okay so it is just uh, open uh, pivot uh, one 
okay it it is something like this but now uh, sorry not pivot one it's pivot two okay so pivot two now you have the data is here then the pivot table is here but what happens here you want to add something from the country or you just open try to open the filter it says the pivot table report was saved with all the underlying data use the refresh data command to update the report so in this case what you need to do is you need to refresh to operate on the pivot table because there is no cached data is available or the underlying data is no more there so you need to refresh when you operate on the pivot table now you can see the filters or you can do the other calculations okay so it's uh, when okay wh this uh, this one has a um, restriction or the limitation is that uh, you need to refresh every time you use the pivot tables that means uh, you have tens of pivot tables then you can uh, refresh as and when you use it okay uh, basically the underlying data will be deleted when you close the excel data okay so you can also do one more thing you can just uh, delete the uh, remove the cache but at the same time you can uh, put the option that refresh data when opening the file okay how to do that right click pivot table option data refresh data when opening the file okay you click it this one then no problem the data will be deleted but uh, it will refresh when you open the file okay so open self result self one sorry self two not this file self two okay now you just check this one yes the filter is coming that means the 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 pivot table is operatable when you open it it automatically refreshing it but uh, the data itself is not stored underlying the pivot table okay so uh, this way what you can do is you have a uh, uh, few pivot tables only those you want to see those tables you want to see when uh, when you open the file with the updation you should definitely see the pivot table then those tables you just uh, put uh, automatic refresh uh, refresh on opening the file the other pivot tables just leave it as it is where as and when you want the data to be there just a refresh okay now this way you can remove the cache the duplication of data from the source data and make the file smaller and the uh, calculations faster okay so it is basically to wrap up it is something like uh, deleting either source data if you are deleting the source data the limitation is that you cannot refresh the pivot table at all that is one time reading the uh, source data that data will be used forever in that pivot table okay that is one but uh, the other way is that uh, deleting the cache that means you need to refresh as and when you wanted it okay i hope uh, this uh, examples uh, uh, explains you better and understanding better the cache and keeping the size of the excel file smaller and the calculations faster okay please uh, subscribe to my channel the alan sam button is already available is shown on the video now and you just press it to subscribe to the channel and if you like my videos give a like and leave your comments and suggestions it will help me to improvise my videos and uh, god bless you